This week, I picked up my perspective struggles where I had left them. I started with this projection from RapidViz that had confused me last week, and it was a lot easier to build on top of my colored floor projection, so I know where to put the chimney and roofs. Also, with this exercise in mind, I watched Marshall Vandruff's final lecture about planned projection and took notes. I considered redoing the previous exercise with it, but ended up moving back to animals as I was afraid of being stuck on that page forever. I decided to work with the same animal in a few different poses. So here I worked with three quasi images down two armadillos. I thought it was a useful exercise and it was fun. I went on to draw a panther and a macaw and then I got some sort of odd pictures of my cat to test how funny poses would work. The first one was a view from the top, so it looks like he has a massive head. And then the other one, he's all puffed up and walking a bit sideways. Animals are a lot more fun than boxes and cylinders, but I did not continue with those exercises very long because I felt I needed a lot of work with the more traditional perspective work. I started working with spheres, cylinders, and ellipses with rapid viz and also some orthogonal views and perspective. Some more here with top and side view and then the perspective. And while doing it, I thought I should work some more with cylinders and boxes with cylinders because I hadn't really worked much on them on perspective one. And you're supposed to have worked with the cylinders challenge before starting lesson six. I won't be doing all the 250 cylinders, but I just wanted to work on a few as a pre to lesson six. I then watched the first video on lesson six about everyday objects and I drew along with it. I then decided there was no point in rushing through the curriculum with this lesson just to get to lesson seven next week and finish the curriculum requirements. I thought it would be best for me to work a bit more on basics and take things a little slower, even if I don't finish lesson seven in this unit. I checked and there are seven perspective units in the solo artist curriculum. So I'll probably work on Drawbox lesson seven in the next unit and gradually catch up with the perspective work in the following terms. So I continued with some cylinders and got back to rapid viz to work with more orthogonal views and projections. To me, the good thing about those exercises is that they're not supposed to look perfect, but they force me to think about how to make an object 3D. And they really help me to think about what I see and how I can go about constructing this 3D object. I skipped one here, but I will get back to it. I continue working with the following views and I found it helpful because I was feeling stuck and not motivated. And this helped me to gradually get in a happier place in this unit. I have not finished all those exercises from the book, but I moved on a bit to get some variety and because I felt motivated to try something else. So based on some of the drawing prompts from the book, I attempted drawing this pocket watch and wagon. The book made it easier by having some images to start from, but I drew them all separately and from scratch. I went for a simpler watch and on a different angle. And for the wagon, I tried to be closer to the reference photo as I wanted to give me a better chance of succeeding with the wheels, which to me is not something easy to accomplish. And I guess I'm happier with how those front wheels turned out than I would have imagined. I finished this week's work with some exercises that I had skipped earlier from Rapid Viz, and they had to do with drawing weird objects from specific shapes, like a toaster with a cube, two spheres and a cone, and so on and so forth. I feel that I finished this week a bit happier than I was last week and I'm feeling more prepared to tackle lesson six from Drawbox and continue building up on those fundamentals before rushing through vehicles and whatnot. I hope this can help some of you. Perspective is hard work and there will be more of it next week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.